Hi, I'm Sarah from Looming for Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make the honeycomb bracelet. So let's get started. First, you want your loom in the standard triangular configuration. Start with your arrows facing away from you. I'm going to take your first band and put it from the middle peg to the left, like that. And take your second band, put it from the middle peg to the right. Now you're going to take your third band and put it from the left pin up straight. And another band from that to there. And then take your other band. Oops, this is twisted up. Um, and put it from that peg that should kind of make a half of a hexagon then take your second band and put it from here to there and then from here and up forward and again going to back to the center peg should look like that we're going to repeat this Take your another band, put it from that middle pin to the left, and another band from the middle pin to the right. Then, going to take another band from that left top of the left pin straight up, and straight up from that pin, and another pin from the top of the left pin to the center. That is your first side. Take a second band. And do, take it right there from the top of the right side. Bring it straight forward. And another band. Bring it straight forward from that. And take another band. Put it straight forward like that. You're going to make hexagons like that all the way until the end of the loom. Or until you can't make anymore. I'm just doing random colors right now because this is, this bracelet is just for the video. But if you want to make someone or for yourself a bracelet, I prefer you should get your bands and ready so that and nice colors and nice orders so that it looks nice. We are happy to say that right now, Snowball and Coco are in the cage. Yeah. Now, at the end, your loom should look like this. Okay, now at the end of the loom, on this peg, Whoops, wrong peg. That peg. You're going to take a band, wrap, wrap it around your two fingers like that, twist it, make it figure eight, and bring it back. And place it right there. Just like that. Mm. Running low, quickly. Running low, get something. Calm down. Okay, now we're going to start hooking. <coughs> Take your hook and go underneath the capping band. You might want to hold that down. The hold the capping band. Down. Take the top band, and it should be on your left, and hook it from there to the left. It will take make a teardrop shape if you hook the right band. And same thing, you're going to go back to the capping band, grab the bottom band, and hook it to the right. Now underneath. All these bands, grab the bottom band and hook it forward, and the bottom band, hook it forward. Same thing here, bottom band, hook it forward, bottom band, hook it forward. Now, get the bottom band and hook it to the middle peg. 
and same thing on the other side, bottom band to the middle pegs. That's how it should look like in the end. Now, go underneath all these bands and get the band that is going to the left. So, oops, take it to the left and go under, grab the bottom band again, and hook it to the right. Like that. Now, grab the bottom band, hook it forward, bottom band, hook it forward. Same thing, bottom band, hook it forward, bottom band, hook it forward. And then on this side again, bottom band to the right, and this side, bottom band to the left, onto the middle pin. Like that. Do this for the last two hexagons. Sorry about that background noise. A computer almost uh, died. And now we just came in with the charger, so we are saved for the rest of the video. And once you're done, same thing go to the bottom pin and hook it to the middle and the middle. Just like it should look like this. Okay, now stick your hook through this bottom pin and like that. Now grab this band, single band, and hook, put it right on your hook like that. Pull it through all the bands. Oops, it might take you a few tries. I'm usually too good at that. Stick it through, oops, so. should look like that. Now put it on the thicker part of your hook, and you're going to pull off your bracelet. Your bracelet should look like this. Now, this is way too short to wear, so we're going to make an extension. So put the bracelet to the side, and take about... I. I mean, for my wrist, if you're a kid, I would say about five bands. If you're smaller, maybe four or less. And if you're an adult or maybe older, then about six or more. So just place them on like that. The arrow's facing away from me, as always, until you think it's good for your wrist. Now, it should look like that. Now take the bracelet bag, pull the part that's off of the pin, Pull it off and put it right there at the end. Now you're going to take oh no, whoopsies. This is going to act like a capping band. So go under it, grab the bottom band and hook it forward. And then grab the bottom band and hook it forward. This is like the single chain bracelet that Natalie did a video on before. Now, once you're done hooking, I like to stretch this last band to this peg, like, like so. Now take a C or an S clip, put it on that end, now you can pull the extension off, take the other end where the capping band is, stretch it, take this end, oh no. Um, whoops, my secret fell off on this one. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oopsies. I'm okay. My S-clip just slipped off, but I just did it. And I'll get to the other end. And that is 
your honeycomb bracelet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!